it is written in the verse of a poem, to give thanks, to praise the Lord, the good he has given, to remember what he has done for all, the ultimate sacrifice in his son, to praise those who we love, to remember those that have given much, the ultimate sacrifice of love, time, and money that we have bestowed upon us, to praise those who don't know that have given to us, to remember that many of those have given their lives, to thank the men and women of the military guard is a hard task to do, for us to take it for granted for what they have offered to give. Whether by lottery they walk the lines or by free will they signed up for the task, it makes no difference in both cases that the choice of whether to go or stay. Many walk among us, among us, and we're, and we're not a clue who they are in their civilian life, because it's a perfect mess that covers what the past that they did, that they gave. If you are blessed to know such of these, please stop and say thank you today. For each soul that is given in battle, a thousand more were saved from the fray. So that I could sit here in freedom, and all this can, and write this day. My thoughts, my prayers, I freely send them to you today. I thank God for this eternal sacrifice. I thank God for my family, for the sacrifice of love. I thank the soldier for his sacrifice of life whether it was a grave or six months of their life or 20 years. We acknowledge, with acknowledgement of these can never be fully expressed. The words I don't have, I just say thanks. Thank you, Lord, for seeing the rest of the program, place in the reef and the Veterans Memorial, and then we'll be honored to hear from the speaker, Battalion Commander Lieutenant Colonel Stephen McLaughlin, and then we'll proceed with the rest of the program from there. Commissioner Karras?
just say a few words about the 40 for Italian. 